Okay, let's uh, keep move by and remember, don't move then because you're gonna hurt. But let them move because the hip is the one who sustains your balance. If you overpass, the, the weight is outside here, so the axis is off. Your body, the axis has to be in the inner leg, passing through the pelvis, into the shin, and not on the center of my leg. Yeah, it's hanging right here. Yeah, and there. Let's do that for a second. Let's find the extension of the feet a little bit more. So we find the heel coming out of the ground because of this, because of the distances. Because I go far away, my heel is coming out of the ground because I go far away. So I'm gonna keep the heel there on the ground. When my body asking, I pick the heel. I don't try to pick my heel earlier. It's because the body asking for. Okay, access center, elevate the leg. You should be already in balance. I want to see if you are there, if you are in balance. Leg to the ground, side step, elevate. You should be in balance. Everybody, very good. Pierre is holding on the wall. I saw you, Pierre. <laughs> I saw you holding the wall, Pierre. Why, Pierre? Don't do that, Pierre. Why? Why? Because I'm falling, he said. <laughs> no, no, it was my imagination. He didn't, he didn't. Say here. Boleo, boleo. Side. Up. Boleo, boleo. Side. Up. Boleo, boleo. Don't push, eh? Up. Boleo. Boleo. Side. Heel. Up. Boleo. Boleo. Side. Down. Up. Boleo. Boleo. Third. Lapis. Remember the feet to the heels, go to the arch. Arch to heel, heel to 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 arch. So the leg. Arch. Arch to heel, heel to arch. Arch to heel, heel to arch. Don't try to put the toes because I know we, if we do the toes, my hip start to do the the wrong uh, forward forward, right? Here. Let's no let's no cross for now, uh, Nazar. Okay. Estoy de ajeto de lápiz. Good. Good. Do the leg one more time. Lapis. 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 And lapis. Good. So let's do for now. Um, let's do just to as a practice in place. Three lapis, yeah, for each side with a churn, right? And the end of each lapis, after the third lapis, we're gonna do a cross, right? So we can change the leg to the other side. I'm gonna show you, we're gonna pivot in as a third, right? We're gonna have a one third more or less, right? Second third more or less, right? And the third third you will feel here. Right? So you're gonna divide more or less in three pieces, right? 
When you go there, you're going to cross behind, and the last lapis, you're going to go to the direction. One, two, three, right? And then you're going to cross backwards. Let's do, let's do this. Let's do four lapises to we are in, in page, right? And then we're going to shrink it to three, right? Because it's a sequence that I have from before, and we're going to use it. So we're going to have it. Lapis one, lapis two, lapis three, Lapis four, cross behind. Entonces, lapis one, lapis two, lapis three, cross behind. Entonces, remember, what gonna help you to the lapis and to, are we gonna ask it to Susie? <laughs> Susie, what gonna help us to do the lapis and the pivoting? Torsion. Thank you, Susie, <laughs> the torsion. And because we do left lapis, left torsion, we use left torsion and the chunk to the left, right? I say left lapis, left torsion. So you need to do with the upper body, right? Second one, third. On the fourth, we cross. Lapis one, lapis two, lapis three, cross. Lapis one, lapis two, lapis three, lapis four, Cross, right? We see it? Good. Huh? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> what, what we don't see? See it. Oh, don't see know. it. Do it. Oh, okay. We see it. We don't do it. So, see now. <laughs> we're going to move a little bit back. So, we're going to do a straight ahead to the axis. We're going to go. I'm going to do once first and then you we copy it. There's a lapis one, by. Lapis two, lapis three, walk four. And then you're gonna do lapis to the other side. Yeah? So then instead to cross and do the lapis, we're gonna just walk four. So see now we have it. Lapis to the to the to the right, lapis one, lapis two, lapis three, walk four, lapis one, lapis two. Lapis three, walk four. Lapis one. Lapis two. Lapis three, walk four. Lapis one. Lapis two. Lapis three, walk four. One more time. Lapis one. Lapis two. Lapis three, walk four. Lapis one. Lapis two, lapis three, walk four. Good, good, good. So let's go. Let's back up, buddy. Don't cry. Good. So you're gonna, <laughs> so you're gonna go again. But the same idea, right? Right. You start to push it forward quickly. So you say, remember get this one lapis. It's a little bit of pivoting, right? It's just just to here. It's not a full turn. One more is another one just to here. Not a full turn. To here. And this one, when it finish, take me for the walk. Right? Well, we're going to go here. We're going to cross one, two, three. And we're going to walk again in a four. So you're going to have a three lapis, one walk, three crosses, one walk. Agree? Yes? We're going. M. Lapis one, lapis two, lapis three, walk four, cross one, cross two, cross three, walk four, lapis one, lapis two, lapis three, walk four, cross one, two, three, walk four, lapis one, lapis two. Lapis three, walk four, cross one, two, three, walk four, lapis one, lapis two, <laughs> lapis three, walk four, cross one, cross two, cross three, and walk four. Let's go back again and try the same one. We're not gonna change too much mass of memory today, so now we're gonna get crazy. You control the time, I don't have time. You have a time, right? Many times. So, same idea. 
So if you go with the float, should we open the lapis? One, two, my three, and the same idea. Walk four. So what I need on the crosses is to you create a space. So my my standing leg create a space without going up with my body. Just create a space without moving my body, so I can cross. The other leg does the same, create a space so I can cross. Yeah, and then I'm gonna have my third cross and my walk and a four. Right? Three crosses in that way. But remember that your leg does this. It's not this. Yeah, it's just very little, right? Because my knee is coming up. I don't move my pelvis forward, yeah? It's just my knee, my joint relax to my create space, right? So we're gonna try again. Lapis. One, two, three. Walk, cross. Cross, cross, walk. Lapis. Two. Three. Walk. Cross. 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 Forward. Lapis. 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 Walk. Cross one. Cross two. Cross three, walk four. Lapis one, lapis two. Lapis three, walk four. Cross one, it's okay. Cross two, beautifully. Cross three, walk four, much better, right? So now, let's go again back. The girls for sure are gonna have a problem to falling and the lapis on the end, right? It's gonna happen sometimes because of the high heels, right? because the body has the tendency to go forward. We need to find a way to be more on the back, the same one we talked just before. Because if I'm gonna pivot in, and I pivot in here, and the end of my movement is gonna fall. That's what I was doing. So you need to try to find that you pivot in, and you're going to the back. You're going to the back. If you stay a little bit to the front, you're gonna feel that, ah, I'm falling. Then the lower back start working like crazy because you're falling. So you try to find the moment the, when I open, I open there. Where I open? There. I always go into the back. In that way you will not fall. More or less clear or not with that? More or less, a little bit, let's try. Lapis, let's so stay to the back. To the back, open the torsion first. Walk, cross, cross. Cross. Here you have another example, right? When you're crossing, you're going always backward. Lapis, again, to the back. To the back. Ecole, there. There, to the back. So now, when you cross and look, you elevate it, you change the weight to the back, right? Because the leg is behind. So see, all those examples you have to copy in your body. You're going to the back, right? You're going to the back. So see, you are in balance. You not try to change the weight to the front, but you're going to fall. To the back, right? Just a walk, four, lapis. Open chest, pivoting. Open chest, pivoting. Open chest, pivoting. Walk, elevation, cross one, two, three, walk four. Lapis one, lapis two, lapis three, walk four. Cross one, two, Three, walk four. One more time backward. <coughs> how much, how much we are here? We have to cut? Yeah. Okay. We do, la last little trial, and uh, I'm gonna do you some uh, one uh, exaggeration of thing, right? For the lapis, imagine uh, before all this, or all this, that you have something right here. But uh, I'm going, to, uh, something on uh, my back to grab. Yeah, if I need to take a, this, it's behind me, it's going there. When I pivot in, I bring it to me, to, to my center, because so I go into my back. I open it here, and I bring it to me. Yeah, I open there and bring it to me. I am not open there and take myself forward. 
Yeah, I need to find the way to go into my axe. Let's try last one, and we're going. And if you need to open your hands, open up. No problem. One, two, three. Walk four. Cross one to the back. Two to the back. Three to the back. Walk four. Catch there. On the back. On the back. Walk. Cross. 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 Walk four. One. Two. Three. Walk four. Cross one. Two. Three. Walk four. And lap is one. Lap is two. Lap is three. Walk four. That's it. <coughs> we stop here. Now, when you do the exercise later on alone, you will see when I say lapis, lapis, right? Look at lapis. That's your torsion. Lapis one, lapis two, lapis three. The lapis is later. Don't try to run it with that, okay? Thank you guys very much.